So it's Sunday, uh, day two of the trip. We're here at the junkyard in Glen Rock, uh, Wyoming. Gonna have some cool footage of all the cars here today. Um, all these cars out here are just so rust free. So we'll see if we can find parts, cars, or you know, collectibles. So keep you guys posted. I don't know if you guys can see them or not over there, but uh, kicked up a, a mule deer in the back of this junkyard here. As far as the eye can see, just old cars. Clean old iron. Yeah, Pintos, Packards, Tri-5 Chevys, 59, 60 GMs. There's that real clean Pinto. I mean, who's fixing a Pinto? Probably nobody, but a lot of good stuff. I'm gonna highlight some of these these rare cars here as I keep walking, but uh, yeah, this is uh, this is the place to get cars, that's for sure, out here in this dry climate. Some you don't see every day. Lincoln Continental Convertible. I'm not really too familiar on these Lincolns. So I'm not really exactly sure what year it is here, but uh, nonetheless, rare to see a Continental, you know, let alone a convertible in a in a salvage yard. It's pretty beat, you know. I mean, I'm sure the floors and stuff are still in it though, with how dry it is out here. And you got a '63. Imperial sitting right next to it bone dry just a little bit of rust in the lower lower quarter Got some shit box wagon right here Big 225 Buick convertible A lot of new stuff's mixed in with all this but uh, Still a lot of old iron out here four-door Malibu Two-door big body caddy. And the cream of the crop right there. It's a 59 Buick. Let's see if we make our way over there. You have to watch out for rattlesnakes. Just gotta be careful where you walk. Just a base model car. No, no options, no power steering. No AC, no power windows, power seat, nothing like that. But still, man. Real dry, real dry car. Oh, got a dog coming. In addition to all the 50s and 60s cars, this guy's got more Model T's, Model A's, pre-war Fords, Chevys, Studebakers, than you could, you know, probably really see anywhere else in this day and age. I mean, there's a 34 Stude, three window coupe. When's the last time you saw one of those, you know? A lot of Model T parts, Model A parts. Just a cool walk in history. But just as far as I can see, just old iron everywhere.